for a 17-year-old. Then again, Abby's always been, let's say, ahead. My mom is a housewife, and my dad works at a hotel. His parents say his passion as a child was medicine. From baby two, you want to be a doctor. His bedtime reading as a six-year-old. Uh, the universe in a nutshell, for instance, and uh, just uh, like uh, The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. At 13, Abby boldly emailed 50 scientists to share his theories, including those about cancer cells. I understood the, uh, the proteomics, the genomics at, at completely different levels, and I was just writing out what I thought were the, uh, the errors in current medicine. He received only one reply, but it was from a renowned cancer research pioneer who recognized a brilliant mind. From my vantage point, he's like the Big Bang. He's a singularity. Dr. Phil Gold set him up to do research in three labs. So it started out very basic with uh, Western blots. Basic stuff that got him published in the McGill Journal of Medicine. And along the way, he picked up gold medals at science fairs, academic awards that saw him meet the royals on their Canadian tour. But it also fast-tracked Abby to university, where he's planning to graduate with an MD and a PhD in just eight years. What you really enjoy in life, that's what you really want to pursue. This week he returned to his high school, where he received an honorary doctorate. You have instilled great pride at Marymount, where you serve as an exceptional role model. As much for his academic success as for his kindness, his yearning to give back. And then with that chaos theory, I can apply that to tumor cells. But many have even higher hopes for Abby. They're confident he will one day find a cure for cancer. Jean-Pierre Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal.